Hey guys, Nathan here, Mom's Care OK. Today bringing you some domination on the map evac. In today's gameplay, we're going to be bringing you some HVK wreckage, I guess. Um, I did pretty well on this map uh, and in this gameplay uh, because there were Christmas noobs, so that's my kind of minute of fame there. I don't know how I got this good gameplay, but anyways, um, I'm trying out some new color correction settings, so if you guys like them or don't like them, let me know. Um, because I have Final Cut Pro X on my computer now, which is a really high-end editing, uh, video editing software. So, you know, I can customize a lot of this, uh, a lot of the things you see on your screen right now. So let me know what you think about it. So in today's uh, video, we're going to be talking about the Awakening DLC. Uh, it was, that was announced um, for Black Ops 3 about a couple weeks ago. Now, I didn't jump to the gun and say, oh, make a video, you know, right on, you know, whenever the maps were announced, because one, I was quite busy with school, and two, I was trying to still get some opinion, you know, just get more information about the maps, and uh, kind of, you know, get my own opinions about them, honestly. Um, so, in today's video, we're going to be talking about um, the four maps, and also the zombie map that is coming to PS4 first. Um, no, I'm just kidding. But anyways, uh, sit back, relax, hope you enjoy, and let's get started. So the, um, obviously the DLC name is uh, Awakening, you know, the map pack. Usually when Treyarch names their uh, maps out, um, or either map packs, they spell out some uh, word, like for example in uh, Black Ops 1 they had First Strike, um, they it spelled out the word fear, which is pretty cool. And um, in Black Ops 2, it spelled out a word. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't really remember what word it was, but that's kind of a cool Easter egg they usually do is they spell out a word with the map pack names. And um, I don't know how DLC is going to work in Black Ops 3, honestly. Um, maybe they might give us two years of DLC. Uh, it's unlikely, but, you know, it's Treyarch. You never know. Um and uh, so yeah, with the Awakening DLC, you're going to get four maps, and those four maps are Skyjacked, Rise, Splash, and Gauntlet. And then for the DLC map, it's Der Eisendrachen, which is, uh, it will feature the um, the original characters, Takio, Nikolai, Temps, uh, you know, Tank Dempsey, and... Uh, Richtofen. So it's the I I seem to like the original characters better um, than the you know newer characters. Like I don't even know the names of the new ones in Shadows of Evil because I haven't played that map much. Uh, a lot of my friends play that map. They like it. I'd honestly stick with um, the giant because it's simple and that's how zombies should have been in the first place. So yeah. So let's get started by talking about these maps. Skyjacked. It sounds like a map we're familiar with from Black Ops 2, Hijacked, which there's a reason for that, because Skyjacked is actually um, a remake of Hijacked. Now, the only difference that I can really see, uh, for all you guys that played Black Ops 2, you knew that Hijacked had um, like an underground way of getting to the other side of the spawn, you know, from going from your spawn to the enemy spawn, and it was quite used in Search and Destroy um, frequently to, you know, Instead of having to face people head on, you can go under them. Now in Black Ops 3 with Skyjacked, the remake of Hijacked, well, it rhymed. Um, you can now actually kind of go off the side of the boat and uh, kind of jetpack into like the underground area of the ship. So there's no more flanking around people, uh, and uh, I think it's kind of a good deal. Uh, I honestly thought uh, Hijacked was a pretty good map in Black Ops 2. Uh, it did have a lot of kind of tactic involved, because if you went underground, you weren't completely, um, you know, invincible, you had to watch out for, you know, trip mines, or whatever they were called, uh, shocking, shock, shock, shock charges, um, you know, they brought them, I don't remember the names of those, because I don't use them, there, it was an annoying, uh, equipment choice, but you had to worry about claymores and stuff like that down there, um, and also, when you were downstairs, you were pretty loud with your feet, you know, your footsteps could be heard, uh, and then people know you to, you're under them. So, you know, I think this kind of balances it out. I really am not a fan of the three lane maps. Uh, that's how Treyarch's philosophy is. Like, 
three lane, three lane, three lane. I like maps that are wide open and you can snipe, you can use shotguns, you can use SMGs and assault rifles, kind of like Overgrown from COD 4. That was a perfect map for every gun. But anyways, we're talking about Black Ops 3. So yeah, you'll have a remake of um, Hijacked, which is going to be called Skyjacked. And then um, the next map is actually called Rise. And it looks like it's... I'm not quite sure. I'm looking at the image right now. It looks like uh, to be a larger size snowy construction map. So there's going to be a lot of uh, construction zone um, equipment. And, uh, you know, just things having to deal with construction. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to like this map. Uh, snow maps aren't too bad. I just didn't like um, Array because it was just too wide open. Like, I like wide open maps, but too wide open where it takes, you know, 10 years to get to the other side of the map and there's no action. So, I don't know about Rise, but Rise is a snow map. And, you know, I loved Summit on Black Ops 1. You know, it was just great. And Black Ops 2 also had Summit. It was called Uplink, I believe. Uh, and those were two awesome maps. Cross map Tomahawks for days. And um, the next map is Splash, which actually takes place in a water park that has slides and pools. And when I saw this um, on the trailer, I was like, maybe you could slide in the slides. But I think um, my major concern about this map is going to be the slides themselves because people are going to camp them and it's going to get kind of annoying. But you know what? I don't know how the map's going to work out. Um, that's just my prediction, so I'm not going to really hate on the map before it even came before it even comes out so you know don't hate it until you play on the map I guess um so anyways the last uh or the next map is uh or the last map is Gauntlet which um it's kind of mysterious uh it has a map with multiple environments it's actually like um it's a training facility for the army pretty much like you go one lane you'll go through the you'll be going through jungle warfare you go through the middle lane you'll be going through snow warfare and you go through the right lane you'll be going kind of through urban warfare where there's buildings and you know bridges and stuff like that uh and i think that's pretty cool i think that's going to be great for snipers smg shotguns i think that's going to be the map i like the most out of this map pack now going uh to the final thing i'd like to talk about der eisenjalken uh, I'm gonna love this map. I don't even know. It's it's it has the original characters. Uh, apparently, all the char the characters spawn in different places, so they're not gonna spawn in the middle like uh, like they do now, or you know, spawn in the centralized area like they do now. It's gonna be similar to the uh, Nacht der Untoten, I believe it was, or Vucht, which um, had the players spawn in different rooms, which makes it more challenging. So if one person goes down, you know. Uh, the others have to go through the map, the other side of the map, to revive them. So I think that's going to add some challenge to the game itself, which is, you know, pretty awesome. The giant kind of gets boring at times, but, uh, you know, it's just basic. That's why people get high rounds on it. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this YouTube video, my video, pretty much. Uh, if you guys liked it, please give it a like. And if you didn't like it, let me know why. Dislike it. Whatever makes you happy. Um... And let me know what you guys think about this color correction. So, yeah, guys. See you guys later. Peace out.
Friendly Hellstorm inbound. Infantry killed.